within sports, something that is very, very healthy and to be enjoyed. And we got a good one on tap here this Saturday afternoon. Brunch and basketball, Doug. Nothing wrong with that. This is Nicholas Claxton finds the cutter. Race Sean Hammonds. What a dynamic duo that is for the dogs. Moore misses, gets the put back. Josh Pastner for the second straight game has a couple of his freshmen in the starting lineup. Well, this length inside, especially for Georgia, will make you think twice about shooting in tight. And at the other end, they can do things like that. Some bad basketball offensively. Here's that dribble drive, and then you have the cut from Wilridge. Coach Green loves. Looks like Alvarado took a shot to the face. And Jackson late to get back up for it. Tough shot. Goes in for Hightower. He is the heartbeat for the Georgia Tech team, no question. Yeah, and he sets the tone. Alvarado was the first guy on the court yesterday before practice, letting his guys know he is here to play. Lose a 6'11 body, got to bring in another interior presence. Eddie Gay's come into the game, posting up hard inside for Tech. Good recovery on the defense by Will Ridge. Tim with the basketball, 6'4 junior from Iron City, Georgia. Pass goes to Tyree Crump. Tech just one for 11 from the floor to start. A.D. Gay with a terrific move in the lane. Good swing. Fagan's pass taken away. Alvarado on the clear. Harris, tough shot off the window. Georgia, but play down low and see what Banks can give you offensively. Great position inside in the layup. Ogbede with his first bucket. They absolutely buried him on a low block to get that feed and have an easy opportunity. Claxton with the block, and he dribbles up. That's the skill set we're talking about with that young man. It's a 6-0 Bulldogs run. Harris to the right hand. Make it eight unanswered points. They're attached to the top of the shot clock, and they also have similar monitors in their practice gymnasium. Off the steal, Tishon Hightower. Georgia had it put in before Coach Crean got to Athens, and we asked him about it yesterday. He's like, yeah, we don't use it. Yeah, I, I'm more along those He's more old school. From distance, and he'll eclipse his three-pointers made this season easily. First made three of the afternoon. Wright's little runner rattles home. Moses Wright, the sophomore from Raleigh, North Carolina. Albany's got to do a better job of controlling that basketball. They put him in some good spots to catch a finish, and he's mismanaged the catch. Back-to-back -back buckets by Moses Wright. Albany, again, has that physical presence in the lane. See a lot of offenses do against a 2-3 zone. It's legitimately sealing that post as a post catch, bearing the defense to catch, drive downhill, finish at the rim. Turned down the shot, instead goes into the trees, gets it back. Yellow Jackets continue their little run. Noah getting that, that on camera shot before the game starts. <laughs> Hightower into traffic, and he gets the bounce. And Alvarado is hurting. But imagine it's DeVoe who's been their playmaker here in a few sequences trying to get it back. Thanks, giving it back, DeVoe. Time basketball minds that just look at the thing differently than a lot of people, which makes them so successful. DeVoe denied by Paxton, but Banks cleans it up. A give and go. And a chance for three. Hightower for three. Yes! Five to shoot. DeVoe around Claxton to the basket. Within four. Claxton give it off Hammond. Good look, big to big. For driving gaps. So that offense, he's trying to cultivate shooting to make this a better offensive team. Thanks. Gets the roll. And you know that minutes distribution in talking to Coach Green yesterday. Topping and Trump in the backcourt, along the baseline. Wow! Amanze, Ingumezi. 
Do you want me to shoot it? Do you want me to pass it? Do you want me to slam? That's why he's a team leader in rebounds, assists, blocks, and steals. Finds a way to impact the game and make a difference. Haywood from way downtown. Seeing just a little bit of that here today. Blue Ridge, no. Flying in for the putback. Claxton has his first made field goal of the day. Shot by Claxton, his fifth. Triggers the transition. And Betty pulls it down to Will Ridge. Oh. Turning defense into offense. Texas, no, actually, we won two more games than you're saying. The Yellow Jackets say it's 105, and I don't think we are ever going to have a conclusion to this little disagreement. DeVoe spins away from Jackson. Alvarado misses. DeVoe on the putback. It's back to a six-point game. Defense play will be here for both these squads. Tech in the ACC. Georgia, of course, in the SEC. Brandon Alston. Wow! Hammond sit and watch while Georgia plays offense. There's Banks with his block shot. The bench for the first time. How about that with just over five minutes to go? Trump for three. Got it! DeVoe again, down the lane. This time gets it on the rim and gives his teammate a chance. James Banks with the tip in. Allowing the Yellow Jackets to hang in. Tough shot. In a tight space. A little too strong for Hightower, but... How about the strong putback by Claxton? Trump with the shot clock at three. Claxton. Well, that'll get you a pro look. Alvarado's had a quiet game scoring-wise, especially in the second half. He picks up the assist on the triple by Brandon Olsen. Georgia Tech with it down six. DeVoe. High off the glass. Long pass. Pull up from the wing. <laughs> With a minute six to go. Back to good look. And the hammer. Alvarado. And the whistle. Big play for Georgia Tech. Tower lays it in. Haywood. Yes. And that should do it. The two coaches come together. Pastor and Crean, a lot of respect there. Healthy rivalry continues, and another chapter goes into the books.